Welcome to Pat's Picks. This is the $8 Challenge. Thank you so much for coming by. Today is episode 16, and I'm happy to say the green continues. Comeback season, baby. Count was up 15% today. I made three trades, all same day till expire. And you can see trade number one was a red one, minus 25%. A little frustrated after that, um, but extra determined. So trade number two, plus 70, and the last trade of the day, plus 37%. So... Very satisfied with how the trades went today. Left a little bit of money on the table, but can't complain. Better to leave it on than off. So let's get right into it. If you're new here, please subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. And uh, please drop that like down below too. So here we go. Take a look at the 15-minute chart. Oh, just joking. That's the one. Here's the 15-minute chart for the day. And you can see we had a nice gap down pre-market, which gave us the perfect opportunity for a gap fill play. And that's exactly how this played out. Now, this actually played the gap to the very cent. Um, the low on this candle was 450.79. Well, on the one minute, zooming in here on that one minute chart. Um, a low of 450.79 right here. And the high of day was 450.79. So that gap filled perfectly. And then after that, hit resistance. So it is no coincidence. And that is just why I love technical analysis so much because um, it can just give you just the biggest edge in trading you know just being prepared and knowing what levels to watch can really just give you the confidence to take those trades and uh, know when to lock in profits but anyways let's look at trade number one in at 1055 out at 1058 so I was looking for this break and support right here um, but we did not get it and I found that out pretty quick um, as you can see a three minute trade but after about two minutes in or a minute and a half, I saw it bouncing right here, and I was like, if it bounces here, there is no way um, it's going to continue down. I mean, I guess there's always a way. It is the stock market, but um, there is a good chance I figured it would continue to the upside if it bounced here. So making a higher low right here, I decided to exit my position, and I am so glad I did because, as you can tell, if I would have held, that thing went to like 4 or $5 pretty quick. So... Um, I ended up taking the call and two minutes after I exited that position right here at 11 o'clock um, in trade number two right here in orange. Held that for 21 minutes, so that's a little bit longer um, than my average trades. I think yesterday all my trades were only like a minute long, um, but today I was a little bit more patient. I was also trying to multitask with some other stuff at the same time, but patience really paid off today. So moving on to trade number three. I waited until 11.54, so about a half hour later. You know, I knew this would be kind of choppy for a while, or at least that's what I anticipated. And once I saw this move finally break in support right here, I mean resistance, um, that's when I decided to get in. You know, it made this move, and then it pulled back a little bit, and I was like, all right, I'm going to get in on this pullback. And then it broke this barrier right here again, so I was like, okay, if it breaks support right here, this is that level I was watching, um, that's when I'll cut losses. You know, I think the contract went from eight to five at the very lowest. And five dollars was my absolute uh, max loss I was willing to take on that. So I was ready to sell at five. But fortunately, it did not um, shake me out of the position. And it got a little bit close. But, you know, I held on tight. And I just was patient and it played off, you know. Again, I was watching for that gap fill. Um, and I know that there's an 82% chance that gaps fill on a Thursday. Um, thanks to uh, this guy, I'm not sure what his name is, but here's a picture <laughs> on the screen. That's the guy, and there's a book that I'll probably read sometime. It sounds pretty interesting, um, but he's just been a professional trader for a very long time, and um, I find these stats very interesting. You know, 65% on a Monday compared to 82% on a Thursday. Um, that's definitely something to watch. And also, last Thursday, we had a gap fill. Um, and that's when I found out about the stat, and I kept that kind of in the back of my head. You know, I mentioned it this morning before they got filled um, in Discord, just so everyone was kind of aware of it. You know, I like to share anything new that I find out or learn. And, uh, yeah, it played out perfectly, like I said, to the very cent. So pretty cool to see. Um, but you can see trade number three in at 1154, and I held this for about 50 minutes and I finally got the move I was looking for. You know, I was a little bit impatient, took profits just a little early, leaving some money on the table. 
Um, but I am very happy with how the trade worked out. You know, it could have hit rejection here, and I just didn't want to wait for it to bounce around for a while. You know, I was already holding it for almost an hour. So once that move finally happened, and we had those big green candles, and we had that, that volatility spike, you know, that's when you'll see the contract kind of jump in price, and it's really good to capitalize on that because if you wait out this chop, sometimes it will just kind of trickle down, um, especially with theta working against you. So, you know, it's very good to capitalize on momentum when you see those big green candles. And, uh, yeah, I think I only left a couple dollars on the table, so nothing too big. And for the rest of the day, I saved my buying power. I think I had 10 or 20, actually, no, I had $12 left. And I was ready to take a position, but we just didn't get that move I was looking for. You know, I was watching for support to break right here a little bit sooner, um, but it didn't happen. The market remained strong. You know, Apple was also looking to break support, but it didn't. It was remaining strong. And then right here in the day, you can see it started whipping around. It looked like it was going to start making a huge move to the downside. Um, but you can see right here, big volatility. And that was because Amazon, and let's just take a look at Amazon really quick. Uh, Amazon had earnings after hour. Woo hoo. Man. And you can see making some big moves after hours up 8%. Pretty wild. So, yeah, that is what pulled Spy up. If it wasn't for Amazon, I think it would have ended the day off a little bit redder. Um, but Amazon is a huge company. So, it definitely dramatically affects the price of Spy. And that's just solid evidence right there. So, you can see all that. But the interesting thing is, Amazon held its gains. Spy sold off right here. So the market still feeling bearish, even though Amazon was ripping on some good news. So anyways, let's take a look at the account, wrap things up. There you have it, plus 15% on the day. After two red days, it feels great getting back in that rhythm of green. And I'm excited to just keep this streak going. Um, just, uh, you know, learning from my mistakes. Sometimes you just need to be humbled a little bit. I guess nine green days was <laughs> enough. And I needed to uh, be uh, brought back down to reality, I guess. I don't know. So... Um, I always take those red days as motivation. You know, they're so frustrating, especially having a couple in a row. Um, but it happens to everyone. So, you know, if you had a red day today, just learn from your mistakes. Take it as motivation and just don't quit. You know, 90% of traders um, are unsuccessful. And I truly believe that's because they give up before they figure out their niche or what kind of strategy works best for them. Um, because it is so frustrating. You know, if it was easy, everyone would be trading. So, anyways, that's all I have for the day. Thanks so much for coming by. I greatly appreciate every single one of you. And I'm not just saying that, you know, I have uh, 640 subs now. I think I just hit that. And uh, that is way more people than I even had in my high school. So it is pretty wild and uh, I don't take it for granted. So granite, every time I say that, I just think, am I saying the word right? Granite. And then I start thinking of marble. Oh man. So man, if I can do it, you guys can do it. So thanks again. Hope you guys stay happy and healthy. I'll see you tomorrow.